this next macadamia based cheese is a little bit different and it's like a, we're going to do it into a, a cylinder like a goat's cheese and so we've got the uh, the salt and nutritional yeast. We've also got some pepper here, which I'm going to roll it in. You could also roll it in some chives um, if you finely chop or mince the chives and roll it in those. Um, but just exactly the same here, mixing all your, your ingredients in. We've added a little bit of lemon to this one as well because goat cheese does tend to be a little bit more tangy. So much fun to be had with raw cheeses. Um, you know, you can start experimenting, take these ideas. You know, maybe do like a pepper jack cheese, get some jalapeno peppers in there. Maybe take the, the caraway and olive recipe and just start start uh, substituting with the recipes that you've already got here. Okay, so that's all nicely mixed in. I'm going to take that cheese and get it in our hands. Obviously, nice clean hands. Okay, and as you can see, that comes together really nice and easy. And just roll that into a cylinder as best you can. Now, the best way I've found to, to make this easy for myself is to use a piece of baking parchment. So I've got the basic shape like that. And then we're just going to be gentle, but roll it and just kind of smooth it out like that. So then what I'm going to do, once we've got it to there, is going to put our chives, or in this case, pepper. I've got mixed peppercorns in here. You can see black pepper and bits of red pepper. Um, if you can get mixed peppercorn grind ground down with some, maybe some green and pink peppercorns as well, that's also fantastic. We don't want to do too much. I'm going to go over the top with a pepper. Obviously a very strong taste. And we just roll that across like that. There you go, beautiful. Now just remove move any excess pepper that we've got hanging around. And it's still a little bit soft. I mean, great to eat as it is. Um, but still a little bit soft to cut and make it look really nice and get those really nice cylinders. So all I'm going to do is just bring it right back to the end again. Just really, really gently rolling that up now. Okay, and then what I'll do is put that on a plate or in a container with a lid so it doesn't get bumped around in the refrigerator. Um, I will refrigerate that and so it gets a little bit uh, firmer and then you'll find that it's easy to cut. You can actually, if you want to, for the first time, if you just want to cut it, you can actually put it in the freezer for an hour or so, so it doesn't quite freeze, but gets really firm, cut it, and then transfer those single individual pieces to the refrigerator and just use them as you need them.